Welcome back to the Cannabis Sommelier. I'm your host, Andrew Friedman. We're here in beautiful Bowness, Calgary to check out Bow Cannabis. Bow Cannabis is a brand new cannabis store and I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys what buying legal cannabis in Canada is really like. See what the selection is, see what the menu is, the price is. You can have an absolutely candid experience with me. So let's go check it out. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, nice to see you. Andy. Nice to see you, I'm Jason. Nice to meet you, Jason. So we're buying cannabis. We're doing a video for everybody internationally. This is for anybody and everybody to see. It's super exciting, you know. Most of these people have never actually bought legal cannabis. And what I do is review cannabis, but I try and find the absolute best cannabis I can. Yeah. Um, so we chatted a little bit and I was looking for absolute premium cannabis. So could you tell me a little bit about the menu and then maybe some of the stuff you recommend? Well, you said primo, so I'm going to start you in our Starbucks. These guys are all like employee elected. You got to go through me kind of strains. Everything that you're seeing that's pink is a sativa and everything that's green is a hybrid and everything that's purple is an indica. We've got prices and apes going down that way. We've got a few different styles and categories. The crowd pleasers are like the banging strains that everybody likes, the smell of them, like the flavor profile. You whip out a joint on one of those and everybody's kind of like, what are we smoking right now? Awesome. So the crowd pleasers going down that way, we've got some tasty ones like Helios Flowers, Maui Waui with a new name. And there's only so many strains that actually entered the legal market. Yes. So it's, it's probably been exciting to learn that solid three or 500 strains oh. that are in the system. I thought my like years of cannabis knowledge would just like jump into this world, but it took me so long to realize like ignore everything that you thought you knew and just pretend like this is all that we have kind of deal so this totally is so producers are kind of similar with producers that's there isn't a huge batch variance between even strains a producer is pretty uh steadfast in, in their ability it's like who's like to guinness you know what okay I mean? there's just different company standards there's different practice holds that they like carry themselves and they hold themselves to and what about pre-rolls ah there's the other side pre-rolls times of pre-rolls we've got individual pre-rolls so we've got packs these top two are half gram pre-rolls, the rest are full grams. Awesome. And then we've got packs of either three, two, or five. Are you finding anybody getting the pre-roll packs is having a better experience than the singles just because of the moisture that's contained in there? I think so, yeah. There's definitely there, there's definitely a content difference in that. They, they try a little bit more. And they're little half gram joints too, yeah. as opposed to a one gram joint. Because I noticed that they sell a lot of one gram joints, but a lot of places in the world don't actually smoke a one gram yeah. pure cannabis joint. Or if you're like at a bar with friends and everybody's going outside for a smoke, I don't want to smoke a single gram while everybody's trying to finish a cigarette, right? Like, right. Can I can I touch any of this cannabis, or do I only get a picture? Unfortunately, it's just pictures. So we okay. Like, we can't open anything in store. Not so even in the back, you can't open something in the store. Nothing. The only way that you get to experiment with the product is if you buy it, take it home. I try it myself. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So that's why I haven't tried all the strains. Can I ask about uh, sampling? What's the do? You, can you get a sample from a producer? Can you take anything? Like, is there any way that you're able to give like a close recommendation unless you? Purchased it. The closest that we do have is we do have a few lines of smell jars. You can kind of see that, but they're 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 really they need to be moved quicker. You know what I mean? I wish right. it was like Colorado style, where I whip out a mason jar and put a your your face in there. But totally, we'll get there eventually. I think the regulation will like will loosen up a little bit if how, you look at how quickly does things get rotated in the sample jars? Do you find anything goes stale? Because I know Alberta, where we are, we're in the mountains, zero percent humidity. Is that a challenge yeah. when actually? making the sale Absolutely. so we we definitely we make sure that it's stored at night in our vault which is oh cool humidity control so okay it's all and it's definitely it lives in the evening <laughs> throughout that but throughout the day there's nothing we can really do i mean we've got tinted windows so it's not like too much sun damage comes in and awesome them, but they do go so every six weeks ish we, we pull them out and swap them so there is an actual supply shortage that's limiting the ability for you to actually assess product in at a store level. Right? Yeah, so like so let's say like our wedding breath from Quest Reserve, very mm -hmm. popular. We can put in and say I would like five cases of twenty four please and we'll get two of them. Just based on Right. You'll get as much as they can give you and it's 
kind of it's called the lottery. That's like the joke that we have. It burns clean white ash. They put that right in there, which is a big bold statement, that's especially that's a bold statement because I've had the majority. If anybody's watched the channel so far, there's been a lot of cannabis that hasn't burnt yeah. white. So that's amazing to see they write burns clean white ash in. Well, we got to try yeah, something from them without a doubt. That one there is killer. That's a cross between wedding cake and mango bread. So that yeah. one there. It's a super heavy indica dominant hybrid. Very nice. I like that one. It's not quite as sleepy as, let's say, the Ice Quest. That one there. It really is. That's the dumbest cannabis that I've ever smoked. The wedding cake and Gelato 33. Well, we did just have Gelato 33 at Westfest win um, the, the the whole competition. It was the number one indica, Gelato 33. Yeah. Um, Oh, I'm, and of course I'm forgetting who grew it, but I, you know what? I think we need to try the the ice cream cake. It's something I'm super familiar with. It's an exotic. How they got it into the system, I'm confused by. But I wish we could see them both. It's killing me. I like the. Uh, I kind of like the terpene profile more. Beta carophylline is my my favorite terpene. Uh, Love pining. This one sounds a little bit more gassy, where this is uh, a little bit more uh, fruity wedding breath. You get two single gram pre rolls for forty two dollars. That's an ass, right? Like that's yeah. an expensive. It's bud. an it's an expensive but, but I worry that the pre roll I won't be able to give uh, the the watcher the same experience, just not being able to look at the bud. Entirely. That's the that's, only thing that. That's my new like Cuban cigar in the breast pocket when you go somewhere and you want to impress. Kind of Oh, right Harlequin, Tantalus Labs. I would like, uh, I'd like a pack of the, the Tantalus. The Blue Dream by Tantalus are very fun as well. Oh really? Oh, the, I didn't notice that there was both from Tantalus. Oh, I want the, I want the Blue Dream. I'm sorry. I want, I want Blue Dream for sure. I gotta make sure I mention it before like we log it down. I would have been upset if I had had the CBD cannabis. To be super honest, lots of people love it. I'm just uh, not in camp CBD. I'm, I, yeah, diet cannabis exactly. The Blue Dream is a little pricier. Yeah, well, those prices are very equivalent to California. $69 for a premium eight is exactly what would translate uh, from a California dispensary. So I just hope it's good cannabis. Is there any that you really would tell customers to stay away from if they're, you know? Yeah. So, okay, so I would say personally, like I said, I haven't tried all the strains, but I've tried all of the producers. I am, uh, I'm in the appeal. Avoid Aurora. I yep. know that hurts a lot of people in Alberta because a lot of people have stocked in their products and stuff, but they they have made no steps forward since legalization to improve their craft. Say like Edison, for instance, which is also on their like similar tier. They've made rapid steps forward. They've changed their jars. They've increased their humidity rate. They've started putting like an uh, Integra pack on the inside. And Aurora just hasn't like played ball. And one big thing, yeah, I don't know if you know, but Aurora did poison. Um, Sarah, my fiance, um, when we first started in, with them in the medicinal system, 2014, it was actually really quality cannabis. And there was this crazy quick arc where uh, the supply didn't meet the demand. They started buying it in, they started rushing things, and they bought cannabis from Organogram that she smoked two ounces of. It actually uh, had a foliar spray on it. I believe it was mycobutanol and, uh, and, and poisoned her. Um, and she's still dealing with the repercussions. So, you know, as you don't suggest Aurora just because of quality. Um, I've also seen repercussions on the medical side, so that's really, uh, really interesting. So, total comes to $99.75. dollars Do you have to suggest where people go to smoke cannabis? Well, okay, so Calgary has some of the worst, like, open consumption laws. Right, for a recreational patient. But as a medicinal patient, I have all the right to go five meters from the door and consume. Precisely, yeah. So the, you, you have to, in a, if you're a recreational without a card, it's, uh, it's on private property only. Okay. But it's, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. No big deal if you're a medicinal patient. Exactly, get your card. Go get your medical card. Tax benefits, and you can smoke cannabis anywhere you want. That was a pretty great experience so far. I'm excited to see uh, the cannabis, and we'll, we'll crack it open and re really get in on it. Love that they're dog friendly. A lot of other places were really upset about me trying to bring the dog. <laughs> so, we've got three and a half grams of the Ice Quest, or on the back it specifies ICC ice cream cake. Awesome. We've got three half gram pre rolls of the Blue Dream by Tantalus Labs. These guys are rolled really nicely. Um, yeah, with. The seal in here. I legally can't let you open this in store and even let you smell it if it was up to me. Oh, even though I paid for it, I can't open it in here. Even though you paid for it, I can't let you open it in here. It's just the 
way that it goes. We can't have the open stuff without having sort of regulations. Right, okay. Can I? So can I share with you in the store, like if I was like, here's some cannabis, is that illegal? It's, yes, it is. Yeah, I can't, uh, uh, yeah, I couldn't have like open cannabis on my person. We have to destroy of any cannabis that isn't like vaulted up. It has to be destroyed on camera, any cannabis that comes in open kind of deals. We are broken down. Got you right there. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Good seeing you. Great seeing you always. Easy, we've made it out with cannabis to smoke. A strain that I didn't think was gonna be in my hand as we left, absolutely fantastic. Ice cream cake, pre-rolls, here we go. Time to go smoke. Are we heading to Bonas Park? Not on the trolley. So we headed down the street to beautiful Bonas Park after our wonderful experience at Bow Cannabis. Jason was an excellent, excellent bud tender, a wonderful host. He was extremely knowledgeable, and I thought it was really interesting to be able to ask him questions about actually sampling the cannabis and his amount of experience, the amount of experience that the bud tender gets inside of the store um, in Alberta. What was crazy to me was the fact that the bud tender can't actually touch any cannabis. Um, all the samples are leashed and locked. You can't open the cannabis. And if I purchase cannabis in the store, I'm not legally allowed to open it and show the person who just sold it to me, even though uh, they may have been incorrect in the way that they sold it. Very, very cool. So we're down here. We got some pre-rolls. We got some ice cream cake. And I think it's time to have a pre-roll. Been looking out for Tantalus Labs for quite some time now. I've been following Dan Sutton on Instagram. He's the founder. And Tantalus Labs is all sun-grown cannabis. They're grown in a beautiful big greenhouse. And this is Blue Dream. We have three half gram pre-rolls, 11% THC. This cost me $26. Um, break the duty seal, crack it open. It does smell nice right off the bat. It's almost like a blueberry laid in a bed of spices, a little, little bit of ground black peppercorn, blueberry, some creaminess. Doesn't do, does smell like Blue Dream. And I like the size of the package because my three pre-rolls fit perfectly in there. Here's my three pre-rolls. The tops are twisted uh, a little bit haphazardly, I could say. Um, it doesn't really look like this was done by a human. And one of the things I could mention actually for a novice consumer is this tail doesn't do anybody any favors for lighting the joint. So you could in turn just remove it, pack it down um, like I would, and then I would probably just remove this little tail to be super honest, because that paper is making no friends while we're lighting our joint. But I can understand why they might not do that because now my joint looks very, very small. I haven't had a half gram joint since I was 14 years old. Not that I'm advocating for teen cannabis use, but that is when most of us have our first cannabis experience. So we'll light it up, smoke a little bit, see how it is. Bonas Park, beautiful place. So behind me is this cool Hextall bridge and the guy that developed all of Bonas, his name was John Hextall. And this was supposed to be a luxury community outside of Calgary where the rich and powerful would accumulate. And they built this beautiful park. And one of the things Mr. Hextall did was build the crazy bridge behind me to get people here. An iron bridge built in 1908, still standing. The big thing was, was convincing the city of Calgary to bring the trolley to Bowness. And once that trolley came to Bowness by Mr. Hextall actually trading two islands to sit in the middle of the Bow River, it became a huge tourist attraction. And it used to be filled with fun fare every day of the weekend. It was the very last stop on the trolley ride and people regale these amazing stories of whipping through tall prairie grass to get to this kind of hidden sanctuary along the river. So we can see already my joint burning white. Haven't even had to smoke it yet and it's, and it's burning down just as I talk, staying lit. So that is a really nice sign. White ash is something we like. I am a medicinal patient, so I can consume cannabis anywhere, as long as I'm five meters from a door. But if you are a recreational patient in Calgary, Alberta, make sure you're on a private property. The cannabis itself has a little bit of that uh, terpene profile, to be honest. A little bit of blueberry, a lot more black peppercorn. It's not dead, and it's burning white. I'm definitely gonna smoke the whole joint, which is exciting because if you followed along, I've had a few pre-rolls on the channel already and a lot of them haven't been very good. So to see this, know it's sun growing, delicious. 
Daedalus Labs. I'm overly impressed. So, as we think about buying legal cannabis in Canada, I think there's a few really big standouts. One is just the idea that we can't touch or smell the cannabis in the store before we purchase it. Two is the fact that our bud tender can't touch the cannabis or smell the cannabis unless they've purchased it and taken it home and made their own opinion about it. It is an amazing opportunity to be able to buy cannabis at a store. We have over 70 retail locations in Calgary right now where I can walk in and buy a joint of my choice, go ahead and smoke it. So as far as legalization goes, that is pretty awesome. How can I complain? I would definitely check out Bo Cannabis and go ask for Jason. He is a great guy. Happy smoking. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.